Hi, I'm Meryl Brodsky. I'm the Moody College of Communication and Information School Librarian. Today I'll be talking about Pivot, the database of funding opportunities. It's a good idea to connect with your subject librarian while you're here at UT. We can help you find funding, consult on your data management plan, and make sure you're in compliance with your grantor's requirements for making your research data accessible. Pivot is primarily a funding database with national and local funding opportunities. It also contains researcher profiles. It's updated daily and has other functions such as saving searches, tracking, sharing, and sending out alerts. It continuously weeds its database so you should not find expired funding. Though research is the most common type of funding listed, it also has funding for things such as travel and equipment. You can access Pivot by going to the Office of the Vice President for Research page. It's listed there under Find Funding. The link on this side will take you to a library guide that's created to help you find funding and it has other tools such as state sources and the foundation directory. You actually have to go further down on this page to the part where it says getting started to log in. Here's where you'll want to log in using your institution's credentials. We're going to use University of Texas at Austin and from here it should take you to the usual proxy server login with your EID and Duo. The first thing you should do is set up a researcher profile by putting in your expertise and your communities, Pivot will automatically find funding related to your profile. You can set up notifications to have these emailed to you and to your team if you like. You must use your UT email for this tool or it won't work. We have a university-wide subscription, so it has to know you're affiliated with UT when you log in and search for funding. You'll notice they have a field for ORCID. If you don't have an ORCID, I encourage you to get one. An ORCID links you to your work. ORCID stands for Open Researcher and Contributor ID. An ORCID identifier is a 16-digit number that's assigned to an individual. Think of it like a DOI or an ISBN for a researcher. Associating this number with your research eliminates name ambiguity distinguishes you from other researchers, and ensures proper attribution. It also helps make your work discoverable and connects you to your work throughout your career. More importantly, journals and funders and institutions are moving to requiring an ORCID when you submit a manuscript or an application. One of the nice things about Pivot is that it's integrated with uh, ORCID so that you only have to update your publications in ORCID for them to appear in Pivot. One of the other reasons for setting up a profile is that Pivot can be used to identify potential collaborators either on campus or off and we'll talk more about that in a little bit. So now I'm going to go to Pivot. And here I'll go to this page and it takes me in. So if you click on the word funding it will take you to this screen and here I'm going to search for journalism and social media. And it pulls up 73 results. These facets on the left allow you to narrow your search by these different things like funding types or sponsor types, applicant types, and so on. These are subsets of your search and they display the number of results in each facet. So if you want to search by the controlled vocabulary, you have to go back to the funding page and go to search by keyword. This means it's pivot keyword. So here I'm going to type journalism and you can see it comes up with it and then it 
if I click on it, it puts it down there. And I'll put in social media. And then I'll search those two. And now I've gotten quite a few more results. That's because it searched journalism or social media rather than anding the terms together. Note, you can also use the keywords on the left from this facet to narrow your search further. These are the words that um, Pivot has chosen to use. So if you go back to funding, another way you can search is by browsing. And you can use the wheel, although it's kind of awkward. Um, and it's not clear where things are necessarily located. So I'm not a huge fan of the wheel. Um, I much prefer to go back to searching by keyword. And here I'm going to put in the word speech. And you can see it's got different categories here. Speech or communication education, speech and language disorders, and also speech pathology. Still another way to search is by using the advanced search. And this allows you to search in specific fields. So here I'm going to put in film production in the abstract. And you can see this has gotten uh, 52 results. And now let's take a look at a full record. So I'm particularly interested in this Sloan Filmmaker Fund. They seem to have pretty good awards. So it's up to 75K. The grants are between 10 and 75K, up to six projects. So it's early career. Um, and then, you know, they've got some eligibility requirements here. Uh, and you can see Here's the potential collaborators. That's, these are people who have some of these keywords, film or production, in their uh, researcher profile here at UT. And then there's, of course, more than 500 from outside UT. If you go to the conferences, this is also conferences and papers invited. And it's designed to show conferences and special issues of journals. If you're looking to present or publish, this can be a great way to find opportunities. So here I'm going to put in communication studies. And you can see most of the entries are conferences, but they do have some special issues. If you go to this home icon, this shows you a dashboard, and this basically displays the items that you've personalized, such as saved searches, tracked opportunities, and those you've shared. Last, I want to briefly show you the fun Finding Funding uh, Guide from the library, which lists different sources for funding. Please don't hesitate to ask your librarian if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.